I refuse to go to pink. <laughs> well, then you're going to see the numbers ran up quite a bit. There we go. That's a pike. It fights like a pike. I don't know. It's sure fighting like one. Nope. Bass? That hey. would be a bass. What on? He hit that right at the boat, didn't he? About halfway here and then ran straight to the boat. I had to keep up, catch up with him. Look at that. The first fish on Iconelli's pond. Right out in the middle. Yep. Yeah, with that wind on that main, on the main lake, that wind, you'll, you'll catch the battery. Oh, yeah. All right, let it go. Nice. See ya. Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen, and we are here with Eric the Intern. That's right. As they like to call him. He's also got a YouTube channel called Bass Fishing Jersey, but it's not just Jersey Bass Fishing. That's right. You. He pigeonholed himself with that I name, really but we're going to try to get him away from it. I didn't know the YouTube fishing thing when I started it. You know, I wasn't really <laughs> doing it for fun. Yep. So cool. Yeah, we're out on Ike and Ellie's Lake. Uh, we kind of slipped out here just before Ike Live tomorrow, and uh, we're just trying to figure them out. The winds are blowing like crazy. I'm getting getting crankbait stuck in my pants and uh but the fish are biting just not very much we're having fun i'm trying to keep up with him uh he likes to run fast like hike he's been around him too long so uh anyway we're gonna go uh see if we can't kick some butt begging Come on now. <laughs> Look at that fish. <laughs> Woo. Went back to my old days of jerking a fluke. Except I tried a caffeine shad this time. I've never fished one before. Just had a bag in the box and figured I'd try it. Look at that. Oh fish. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, awesome. That's maybe the biggest one I catch today. Awesome. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He was almost three. That was a good fish. Yeah, that was a good fish. I didn't fish. see him from far away. Yep. Fat, healthy. Out in the middle of round nothing. Wow. Yeah, right, dude. That's how it is down here in yeah. South Jersey sometimes. Yeah, just though. all in the middle of nothing. They just cruise on these flats. Awesome. That dam's got some depth to it. There's definitely some nice fish over yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. I'm, so I'm, I'm going to slowly work my way that yeah, way. Yeah, this is a good air. This is a good cove to spend some time in. Yep. Definitely. So basically, all I'm throwing is I got a caffeine shad. I had a bag of them in the in the boat. I've never tried them before, so I figured I'd give them a try. Dip the tail in some chartreuse JJ's Magic, give it a little bait fish or bluegill look. Put it on a, a, a Mustad grip pin EWG and uh, fished it weightless. The way I love to do it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's old school fluke master right there.
big Texas Rig Rage bug right in the point of the lily pad, so I'm stuck out the furthest. I made three or four casts there. Finally, he got it close enough for him to bite it. Nice little four pounder. Sweet. All right, let me talk you through how I figured all of this out. Um, we're in a, uh, what I call a, a swamp water lake or a black water lake. It's got uh, tannic water, and nine, nine times out of ten, almost 100% of the bottom is really, really, really soft. So a lot of silt, a lot of junk the bass really don't like to be in. So I've been really concentrating on the upper part of the water column, anything above that mud. and. Uh, and then the wind's blowing really hard today, and so I'm looking for places that uh, the wind hasn't kicked up all of the silt off the bottom. It's a shallow, shallow lake. The only place that I can find right now, I haven't gone all the way to the back of the lake, but the only place I've been able to find so far is in the lily pads is where the water is the clearest. So I'm getting to the edge of that between the muddy water, which is out away from the lily pads, and the clean water that's under the lily pads, and I'm pitching these little points, these little parts of lily pads that stick out, and what that's going to do is that's going to hold the most active fish, the fish that are actually feeding. That's an a ambush spot, and I'm just making multiple pitches into that, that spot and just very, very slowly, methodically picking those places off. So that's how it is. Find the clean water, especially in this kind of a lake. Ah, that. <laughs> He's been caught before. A little sore in his mouth. Sweet. I've definitely got a pattern going. So they're right on the edge of the pads and they're willing to come out about a foot, foot and a half. So I'm working all these little points. And when I say points, it's just places in those pads that stick out a little bit further than everything else. And uh, just kind of work, flip to it, and then draw out of it about a foot and a half, two feet. Once I get to there, I reel it back in. And uh, I've gotten probably four, five bites doing that and caught three of the five. So, awesome. Awesome. Now y'all just sit back and watch me uh, catch a few more. All right. So the way I've got this rigged up is uh, just your your typical pitch or uh, punch and pa uh, rig. I've got a uh, a bobber stopper or punch stop right here. A uh, three eighths ounce sinker, I believe. Um, a little mustad punch hook. Matter of fact, I need to replace this anyway. And a little rage bug. I like a rage bug when flipping around grass. It gives you a lot of action, but it's a small, small profile. And when you're in these little ponds like this, a big profile bait typically does not work nearly as good as something that has just a small little compact profile with a lot of action. I'm fishing on 20 pound fluorocarbon um, and a 8-1-1 gear ratio reel and a 7-6 seven, seven, medium heavy rod. And uh, it's working. getting a little bit late. I'm starving. I ate with breakfast this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and get off the water. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Um, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out of the water, go out and catch some fish. Have a great day. We'll see you.